So, Pierre talk about that. Uh, so, uh, I try to do uh, a little lecture on this because we have, you have many, uh, some of variations yesterday. So, uh, the Aztec uh, civilization built uh, typical gardens to produce fruits and uh, vegetables, uh, so like uh, artificial islands. Um, they used organic matter from the fish pond, decaying vegetation to create gardens and uh, fa fencing in the rectangle with water. Okay? So, uh, they planted also uh, trees like uh, willow and cypress in the corners, at the corners to secure the Chinampas. Uh, oh, sorry. Among the crops on the Chinampas, uh, they produce maize, beans. Oops. OK, Rosa? Yes. OK. Amaranth, uh, tomatoes, and uh, chili, uh, chili papers. So uh, what about aquaponics, uh, floating wetlands? Uh, I think you know it also. Um, it's often created to uh, improve the water quality. Yeah? Uh, it's uh, also interesting for biodiversity, you know, to provide uh, habitat for uh, birds and uh, amph amphibians. Okay. So, it, as uh, Pierre said yesterday, it can be used also for rice and so uh, to mop up uh, uh, pollutants in uh, urban area. So just have a look on uh, this uh, bottle. And uh, for some atrophic uh, conditions, it can, uh, uh, the plants uh, com are competitive with phytoplankton, okay? So now, uh, artificial uh, in buildings, uh, artificial grow bed, for example, so uh, actually, there are different media which can be used. Uh, we will see it uh, in an, on another slide in a few minutes. Uh, this can be successful in a decoupled or couplet system. And uh, this play a triple wall, mechanic filter, biological filter also, and uh, of course, substrate for plants. But be careful because there is an important risk of uh, sometimes anoxia at the roots. So it depends on the quantity of food, it depends so on the quantity of fishes. And uh, maybe sometimes it's, uh, um, it's, it's uh, easy to have also worms inside. You can put worms inside, like our worm filter. But the worm eats uh, the organic matter, uh, creates oxygen inside uh, the substrate, but don't uh, mineralize the organic matter. It's not the work of the worm. The mineralization of organic matter is uh, conduced by uh, bacteria and uh, columbals. And the worm is associated with this organism to produce uh, the first degradation, but to produce oxygen in the media. Okay. So uh, NFT, you know it also, I think, uh, nutrient film technology. A fine blade of water is created around the roots, which are also in the air, so we've without risk of anoxia. But be careful, if the pump breaks, you can lose uh, all the crops, okay? Because there is no water around the roots. So, uh, we have, uh, in the greenhouse, we have uh, a little uh, unit with uh, um, strawberries put on the table to remember. And uh, it's fine, I think, also for a little small units for uh, a family, uh, for example. But be careful with uh, the functioning of the pump because uh, it can be dangerous. So, um, like aeroflow, 
uh, also. Uh, you can also uh, find it in uh, many units in France, many startups invest in this type of equipment, easy to install, okay? But for example, uh, this unit with the one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 28, I think, uh, baskets, uh, this one, this one. I pay uh, around 200 euro for one. 200 euro for 28 baskets. There is only um, the gutters, the little tanks, around uh, 100 liters, so it's very small, and a little pump inside, and without filter. So you have to, uh, to put inside of the system. So I think it's very, uh, very expensive. Very expensive, and, and I don't know um, the durability, the sustainability of this material in greenhouse with the problem of sun also. There is also a vertical system uh, to optimize uh, the height of the building or greenhouses. But it's important to, to arrange the wall system to avoid too much shading. Okay? There is some uh, system which uh, uh, are mobile, you, you know, they turn, they turn around to catch the sun, okay? It's common in uh, urban farms, but uh, you, have to, you have to develop a local market to have a good price for your products. Zipgro technology, do you know this system? Vertical system. Uh, we have a company in France uh, which names uh, ReFarmers near Lyon. It's an um, American product. And for example, like this one, always it's the same uh, longer, the same long, the uh, same length, pardon, sorry. It's around 50 euros for one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh? No, so I uh, visit a uh, few weeks ago, um, uh, last year, the Sourcier. Uh, and a few weeks ago, uh, L'Autre Campagne with Lucille and Thomas. I don't know if you know them. They have a green house around uh, 500 uh, square meter. And they have a, a unit with, uh, I think, uh, 70. 70 zip go. So 70 multiply. Uh, so it's a very expensive uh, material. Would you be able to build it yourself and multiply Yeah, yeah. The form is particular. Yeah, it's, uh, it's plastic. It's, it's exactly yeah. you will find in the in the market, but they will have a chemical inside. Yes. To, because it's something we put inside the building to isolate and uh, against the fire. So we put the chemical inside and you can find the chemical. So you pay more. It's not the same form uh, that you find in the aquarium to no. filter the. No, it's not really the same. It's really. Uh, when the water propagates inside, uh, there is a lot of oxygen in the system. Yeah, yeah. So it's really, uh, it's cool. And it's very lightweight. Is it, sorry? Lightweight, wet, light, very light. light. Wet, it, wet, not heavy, uh, no. Light, wet. Light, wet. Not heavy. Not mm -hmm. heavy. Ah, not heavy. Mm -hmm. mm. But, personally, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's amazing uh, with, uh, for this material because, um, you know, the plants must fight. Only if you, uh, you are a specialist on horticulture, uh, few plants uh, accept uh, to grow vertically. 
normally in the plants, you know, because when you put this, um, this uh, zip guru vertically, they have to, you know, so uh, I think uh, there is stress and they fight to, uh, to, to growth. And maybe they can, maybe, maybe it's my mind, huh? maybe they consume more nutrients to fight uh, gravity, you know? So it's, uh, it's amazing uh, in front of the buildings. Uh, it creates shade for the workers inside the building. It produces uh, vegetables uh, for the group, uh, for the lunch, uh, for the, uh, the site of walking. But I think it's, uh, it's better to use special plants. You know, like plants uh, which uh, are uh, on other trees in a tropical area, you know? in wet area and they, they are uh, epiphyte uh, on uh, trees and they are able to grow like that. But uh, for lettuce or uh, aromatic herbs, I don't know, I don't know. It's my uh, opinion. No, no, not at all. Uh, maybe in Apivatu, uh, we tried uh, to test uh, this uh, system uh, to compare the results for uh, crop yield. The vast majority of the results you get from that are propagated by zip growth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. It's a very good advertising, so I've not been able to find any actual results. Okay. But we have tried a few of them, and actually, we don't know what happened inside. So sometimes uh, we have tried the cells, sometimes cells at the bottom are really big and on the top. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, uh, they put it in the middle, so you don't know what happened with the water. And also you have the big one that with the water going inside, it's uh, the big drop, the drop inside that are going from lettuce to lettuce to lettuce in the, it's mm -hmm. still it's mostly on the, on the leaves. And, uh, and uh, also, yes, at the end, uh, like, months after the foam is uh, really uh, heavy but not that much but and it's going in the on the water like it's not uh, holding by the by the plastic uh. hmm. so you have to put the scotch uh, rain at, uh, in the end in the and there is no anoxy area inside well, it's fine. Yeah. and how many lettuces do you put inside one uh, zigro too much but i would say as too much you Yeah, yeah, uh, like, like, like this, huh? Yeah, and we put, I guess, uh, eight is uh, okay. Like four and four is uh, eight. Eight. Eight for one. Yeah. The ball. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is the height? It's one, uh, one meter and twenty centimeters. One point two. Two eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's expensive. You find it online, there's a lot of hacks for it, and then the So, uh, just have a look of an uh, inappropriate project uh, with the greenhouse and uh, they use only uh, bags and some uh, NFT system also for tomatoes. Uh, is a decoupled uh, system. And, uh, we, you can see uh, the quality of the tomatoes, but it's not very well. So, um, 
deep water culture. So and uh, with raft uh, is using long tanks with a constant flow rate or not. Sometimes uh, somebody. Uh, uh, sorry. Oui. <laughs> Oui. Sometimes the flow is uh, it's a constant flow or not. Okay, so you have to check uh, in uh, our greenhouse uh, what kind of uh, flow do, do we use. Okay, so I, uh, the plants are put inside little basket and in flotation and rafts. Uh, you can use a little basket, uh, five, cent five centimeter diameter or more, like uh, seven, like us with a substrate of or, or not. You can use pozzolan, you can use a, a little um, clay bills, no? Uh, we use, uh, we can, uh, uh, talking about in the greenhouse, uh, at the end of the, um, the lecture, uh, we use um, cocoa peat for pH. Because we, I, I have, uh, I had better results with cocoa peat around the lettuce for the beginning of the growth. Because you know, as I said to you yesterday, I have a pH around 8.2. Uh, so it's very uh, high value of pH. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a better growth with uh, cocoa fibers and peat when we put this substrate with lettuce, with the basil, and with strawberries also. Because there is um, a little uh, ecosystem inside, and the pH for the beginning of the growth is better inside around uh, 6, between 6 to 7. But you okay. don't have too many stuff inside the system, like in the, into the rest? No. Le, uh, just baskets for the lettuce and uh, aromatic herbs. La, la cocoa, pas partie, there is a, a little pieces of cocoa which uh, the, the fall inside the raft, but uh, when you prepare the little basket, we have to put many, many water. We put the little seed inside the basket, the cocoa fiber and the peat mixed and we, we put many water before put the basket into the raft. So there is a, I don't know uh, how to explain, because uh, you know the substrate is very compact around the, the seed. We can have a look under the raft in a few minutes. Is the substrate in contact with the water? Just the like this. We don't have the basket inside the water. The, the, the totality of the basket is not under the water. Only a few millimeters. And there is a, a system of, you know, the, the water grow up inside the basket by uh, physically. Uh, into, into the yes. Yeah. The no, 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 no. It's a constant height. But, you know, with this kind of material, the, the peat uh, can, uh, can conserve the humidity, so uh, there is a, a flow, you know, inside the basket, from the raft inside the basket. And after that, the roots, capillarity, capillarity. Hmm? And after that, the roots uh, are in the water, okay? I know. For sanitary condition, uh, we try to compost it. So it's very expensive? No. No, 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 no. no. It's not expensive. Well, for the experiment program, uh, all is free. Because I, I'm working with a private company which uh, gives to all the material, all the subset for me. But it's not expensive, you know? Peat, it's extract from natural lands, so maybe we, but uh, yeah, in the future. In the Netherlands, there's already no peat. Uh, it's uh, a problem. If we want to 
It's my choice for the moment, but maybe in Apiva 2, we t we, in the beginning of the program, we are working on uh, Puzzolan. I will see, uh, you know, I'll show you in uh, on, uh, another slide. And we also uh, work with nude roots without soil. You know, when you, I buy uh, the seeds, there is a, a little soil around the lettuce. In the beginning, five years, four years ago, I tried to put off the soil and many, many stress. And, uh, and many, many uh, times to do that. So the cost uh, production increase. Okay? Je vais bientôt finir là. En fait, non, c est, c est, c est, il, est, il est dans ma voiture. Donc, tout est, ouais. So, uh, some example in south of France, near Bordeaux, in the unit of uh, Grégory Bitton. Maybe some, uh, some of you know it, uh, at the left. So, uh, he is uh, using food quality raft. Okay? It's sort of like a form, a very strong form. Uh, so, he use only when water, which is stocked in a lagoon. He found, uh, he found the raft in food material from China. He's going to develop for the moment a more hydroponics and aquaponics system. He starts with organic nutrients to grow the plants. He put it inside the, the unit. Uh, he's using only the salmon, uh, the salmonid water. He's working on a trout, a rainbow trout. He's uh, using only the salmonid water to compensate the evapotranspiration, you know? So it's a decoupled system. And now, for the summer, he's uh, afraid because the temperature uh, one month ago is around 18. So it's not a good, uh, good water for salmonid, 18 degrees. So is he looking for another species? Maybe perch. And uh, all the vegetables and uh, aromatic herbs are, uh, are sold locally. Okay. On the right, urban farmers in Bâle, uh, also with decoupled system. Okay. So our facilities, uh, our deep water culture with lettuce last year. So just have a look around uh, between uh, uh, 500 to 600 grams for mean weight for the lettuce and uh, for six weeks. You know, uh, it depends on temperature and uh, between uh, seven weeks to four or five during summer. During it's around uh, six to seven weeks. And we change uh, the varied variety. More Batavia, for example, brown Batavia and blonde Batavia during uh, spring and uh, autumn. And during one uh, wind, uh, summer, we use um, uh, lettuce, uh, lettuce, hmm? variety lettuce. I am working with uh, the density of uh, 16 lettuce per square meter. Okay. I test uh, 32 a uh, few years ago, and um, I have to uh, catch uh, some of lettuce to continue the growth because it's too, too closed, I think. They can't open, they can't open the leaves. So they can catch the light. They can do very well uh, their photosynthesis system. So it's, it will be, uh, it would be interesting to, um, to start with high density on raft, around uh, maybe 32, to stop when you have around uh, 200 or 300 grams for a first uh, sell, first market, and to continue after the growing to have more important uh, lettuce, for example. You know, in Belgium, uh, they produce little lettuce 
they, they mixed also lettuce from different varieties and they proposed to the, the people uh, with roots because they, they produce many lettuce in hydroponics system. And in the beginning, uh, they mix the seed inside the basket. So in the basket, they had three varieties, uh, blonde, brown, and uh, red, for example. And it's very nice because they, the people, if I, have, if I uh, buy uh, such lettuce, I can put it inside a, a bottle, uh, catch some leaves uh, for my lunch, for example, and the lettuce uh, stay uh, alive, fresh. Uh, fresh also, many days. So uh, maybe in Apivatu, we test also new products, new products like that in, uh, your f in our future program. Okay. okay? So just have a look on the roots. Very right, so uh, good quality. So ebb and flow, uh, ebb and flow system in, is current in horticultural French company to produce ornamental plants. Uh, we need, uh, of course, a high pressure pump for functioning. We regulate the frequency and the duration of the tide as a function of the drainage points, and of course, as a function of the climate inside the greenhouse. So for the moment, for example, only one tide, and uh, I think next week we, we use two tides per day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Uh, we decided this year to design the strawberries production with uh, gutters as the precious nuts. I have also to test uh, different substrate. I will explain to you in details on Wednesday afternoon. Actually, we use the same water programs for tables and gutters. Okay? Maybe uh, we will need to water differently the two systems in the next program, but for the moment it's, it's okay. So different, oh sorry different uh, substrate, uh, foam, okay, vermiculite, rock wool, rock root is not uh, sustainable also, but it's currently used in uh, hydroponic system for tomatoes and strawberries, you know. I think it's like uh, the same problem with peat, maybe. Huh? In German it's a good option, you can correct me, but uh, because it's uh, easy to, to find the yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. A high temperature, no, yeah. to to burn it. Mm. Mm. Vermiculite also, it's uh, you know uh, in the beginning it's a natural product, but uh, to have uh, this aspect uh, um, of extruded material, uh, they need to uh, burn this material also. So maybe it's may it's better in the fields, you know. <laughs> Maybe we have to stop now, aquaponic. <laughs> <laughs> so different uh, natural substrate, uh, gravel, uh, clay beads, uh, but it depends on uh, organic matter inside, it depends on the fish density, depends on many, many, many things. Put the land also. Put the land is good for uh, and, uh, the need nitrify ammonia, nitrifying ammonia, because there is a, it's a, a material with many, many holes, little holes, and many bacteria can uh, live inside. So just have a look at the, the roots in bags, it's very important. They develop very, uh, very large uh, in, the, in the system. And also plastic, you know? Plastic is a problem also. So, sorry. sorry. Um, would the pine bark not affect the leaves? The, the pine bark in the, the bag that you have there? Inside? Yeah, one, the third option is pine bark. Would that not affect the leaves? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand you. <laughs> Lee? Alors, uh, yes, um, I explained to you on, on uh, Thursday. Um, there is a different composition inside, 
and uh, often is on around 10 percent of war material. Uh, so it would be entirely. Yeah, yeah. There is uh, around uh, 40 to 50 percent of, uh, for example, peat, and after that, uh, 20 to 30 percent of cocoa fibers, and uh, the rest, enfin, the, uh, also pines, but around 10 percent, and also wood, wood material inside, not only pines of, uh, you know. So I've, um, the pH inside, uh, when the bags is uh, new, uh, the company say to me, and the, 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 the papers, the technical papers, uh, 5.8 for pH. So it's burning acidity. Yeah, so. yeah, of course, of course, yeah, but of course. But uh, I don't have to uh, add uh, mm -hmm. acid solution in the water. Because I'm working since uh, three years with this system of substrate into the pots and the table co with cocoa fiber also and inside the bag. So we, I, my, uh, my program is like that for the moment to, to study in coupled system without add anything. And it's okay for the moment. Because I think uh, I, I, I say to you um, yesterday, but we can discuss, of course, on this. I, I think it's uh, there is important reaction, biological reaction inside the bags, inside the pots, with the, the, the community of bacteria and fungus inside. Of course, the pH decrease. I, I measure the pH during the growth production, and I, I am, I was uh, between uh, 6.5 to 7 in mean. So it's up uh, than, uh, it's upper than uh, the beginning uh, in the bag because I have a hardness uh, water, uh, a high alkalinity inside my water. Around, uh, you know, you, do, do you know the unit uh, uh, dig, uh, French degrees to measure the uh, French, uh, of course, uh, I, I have around uh, th um, 26 deg French degrees for alkalinity, for hardness, total hardness. So around 260 milligrams of calcium and magnesium per liter. It's a uh, rock water, no? Uh, no. I, I don't. I don't say that. No. 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 Uh, the, the media can affect the fishes. No, I, I don't. No, because you know, in this material, in this one, and this one, if you don't have uh, a good, uh, like, drum filter. If you don't have filter for uh, suspended solids, uh, it don't work very well because all of the organic matter go inside this media. So creates anoxy area. If you have, it depends on the density of fishes, of course. If you have a, like a, a drum filter, which uh, uh, put off uh, all the particles up to 60 microns meter. Uh, we have a, 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 um, uh, some particles, little, little particles inside the raft, inside the media, but they, contribu they, they contribute to produce nutrients. So uh, I study this for the moment because I, uh, like Pierre yesterday, I check all the compartments uh, debut uh, uh, at the beginning of March, 7th March. Water uh, uh, inside the greenhouse, water outlet, uh, greenhouse outlet, uh, inlet in the tanks, outlet in the tanks, uh, before the drum filter, after the drum filter, inside sturgeons, inside strawberries, inside, 
and also sludge after uh, six weeks. And I, I'm waiting for the results. And we have um, organic matter in the system, which uh, deposed everywhere in a little, but there is no problem for the quality for fishes because the bacteria community is working for me. Okay? I think it, maybe it, it will be the conclusion of your training period. There, is n there isn't one model. There is uh, one system in your area, very one system in your area, one system. We have some uh, parameters uh, common, but it's difficult to design a unit. Look at uh, Inapro project. <laughs> it's difficult to design a, a unit and to do to the people, do like that everywhere. I think it's not possible because too many changes for uh, makeup water, for fishes, the compartment of fishes, the feeding, the workers also. Yeah, sometimes the fishes are happy with uh, <laughs> their workers and may sometimes not, so they don't want to eat. I, 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 I have this problem sometimes with students. Continue. Yeah, Continue. with tilapia. Sometimes tilapia doesn't want to eat with some of my students. <laughs> Because they, you know, they, they make noise, they uh, push uh, the tanks, uh, they uh, take off the net uh, very quickly, so the tilapia are afraid, so they don't eat. And they recognize these things? Yeah, they recognize uh, often me. A few years ago, I have a tilapia in Aquaria, box it in Aquaria, and I have a super male, why, why? Big fishes, why, why? Uh, very fight, very uh, pink, and very happy to, if they want to, uh, spawning. But the female are in other aquaria. And I have to live uh, with other students to, uh, to, to, to visit some fish farms. And uh, I'm not, I, I was not in the building for three days. Uh, at the end of the first days, my students called me, uh, Madame, there is a large problem, there is an important program, uh, problem with uh, the YY number 12, because they have a number. He doesn't want to eat. So, well, so uh, no problem. When I go back, I think, maybe I'm a little crazy, um, the fish number 12, Look at me, <laughs> look at me, and he turned back, you know, in the aquarium. He don't want to see me. So I say, okay, guy. And I go away uh, in the building and I have a look on, the, on him. What is the problem? And he go back and where is, where, where, where is she? He is looking at me. He is looking at me. So I go back and I talk with him. Okay, all is good. No. So, no, I'm crazy, but, but I know, I think uh, sometimes some, some people, uh, you know, tilapia is special fish. Very different from trout, I think. Uh, when you have a look on these uh, breeders, there are uh, many, many uh, social factors. So yeah, I think it's, it's very, uh, very uh, kind of fish. So I have to finish because. Uh